wish you a happy new year and let's start with the news which everyone is talking about the vaccination drive among 15 to 18 years okay so everyone is worried and having a lots of question about how we will start and what will be the procedure we all know the procedure but the main question lies which vaccine uh, will be the government providing to, to the children doctor good morning hasan yep um a very happy new year to all of you all on et now and thanks for having me here Uh, the government has rolled out the kids vaccine and and a good response has come in because we are close to 7 lakh kids who have been registered until last night 9 pm and uh, the government is making it free at the government centers and the jumbo centers which is covaxim and it's also available at a price at a private center uh, which has two doses for uh, 28 days uh, gap <clears throat> okay doctor um like uh, as you say a uh, set co vaccine will be the vaccine so there are any other option will be the uh, parents or the children having or only the co vaccine will be provided so at this moment it's only co vaccine which is provided hmm. the other options are in the pipeline you hmm. have a zydus vaccine you have cobavax you have novavax but i think cobavax and novavax are uh, in trial and uh, so at present it's only the covaxin which is available to all the kids between 15 to 18 okay we uh, when we take vaccine we all, uh, we all ask the question efficacy rate so what will be the efficacy rates among the children so what studies they've done in close to 526 kids they've realized that the neutralizing antibodies is 1.7 times more than what it was in an adult after the second dose and secondly the efficacy is close to 95 to 98% 4 weeks after taking the second dose okay any side effect doctors which uh, the parents have to worry about it or there is any kind of uh, in study we have found so far any side effect so there are two facts for vaccines one every vaccine was initially first removed for children and then it was progressed into adults for use uh covid vaccine is the only vaccine which was first removed for adults and now it's descended to children hmm. usually children and kids uh take the vaccine very well there are mild side effects where is fever pain on the injection side little fatigue but i think the vaccine side effects will settle in 98% by in 24 to 48 hours so really not much post the vaccine maybe just take a paracetamol and take rest for a day or two and the kids should be fine so there should not be any apprehension for taking the vaccine for sure okay doctor uh, like uh, i have a question uh, like before taking vaccine there are many people say like you have to do this and that and blah blah so what are the do's and don'ts so before taking vaccine and after taking vaccine you suggest to our viewers so before taking vaccine that the kids do not need to have fever and they should be in good health there should be no apprehensions they should come to the center probably half an hour prior to your vaccine appointment once one takes the vaccine it's going to be a 20 minutes to half an hour wait at the center because it's a new vaccine that has been taken over the kids and once you go home just take a paracetamol and rest it for 48 hours so there should be no hesitancy there should be no apprehensions i think our history suggests around the world that vaccine tolerance amongst kids is excellent okay doctor with uh, with uh, right now in india we are all worried about the omicron so does the children also have to worry about omicron after taking vaccine or before that something which we all are worried right now so what you are studying and what you are suggesting on this scenario so uh, i must tell you two things one is that uh, omicron is very well existent in our city and in our country to my understanding every household will have one or two cold cough fever cases in the last one week every phone call that i have received every alternate phone call is a covid positive unless proved otherwise okay so omicron is present i think post taking the vaccine some of the studies do show that coaxim is a better choice of a vaccine 
towards the Omicron um, variant. But well, I think in time to come, we would know once the kids are vaccinated. But nonetheless, post the vaccine, one thing for sure, the severity of the disease, it's going to be very mild. So vaccinations should be taken. And uh, kids getting Omicron or getting COVID at present, I think the story is that they have 24 hours of fever and they have little cough, cold, post that with body ache. Otherwise, the fever settles in 24 hours. Okay, doctor. So um, right now, uh, this is a winter season, as we all know. We, we, are, we are facing cold, fever. So in such cases, uh, if someone is having cold or fever, do you suggest they should take vaccine or not? No, with cold fever, there is no vaccine of any kind to be taken. Okay. With fever, specifically. Okay. So okay. if the child is fever free for at least 72 hours, mm -hmm. then you go in for the vaccine. If mm -hmm. the child is feeling that he is feverish or he may get fever or... Mm -hmm. There is someone at home having fever, then I think it's more wiser to wait for five days because usually viruses would spread from one to the other in five to seven days. Okay. So, uh, as we all know, the uh, children don't like to get injection. They, they, they are, they're like scared of needles. So, there are any other alternative by which government or the hospitals are planning to uh, take it? There are no other alternatives for uh, needles. Uh, I think uh, this is a 15 to 18 uh, age group, which is as close to an adult. Mm -hmm. And they will take it. And we unfortunately have no other choice but needles for the kids for getting okay. them vaccinated. So we are getting a soon we will get a booster shot, a shot which is rolling by the government. So does any plan you are having for children to, to get a booster dose in future? So I think at this point, it's extremely important. We have only seven and a half crore children between your window of 15 to 18. But our window for 2 to 15 is yet left. Hmm. So our primary story would be that we must get our kids vaccinated. Hmm. Once we get the kids vaccinated, probably a booster consideration would be anywhere between six months to nine months post the first shot. Hmm. 